it is about time that these mega fun golf clubs were made totally legal. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Yes, guys, that is right. These are the new Smithworks wedges. Now, we've all seen Smithworks wedges in the past, and we all know they were highly illegal, guys. They are not conforming to the rules of golf until now. Guys, we all want to hit more spinning wedge shots. We all want to impress our mates by hitting shots that razz backwards like this one. Oh, that was nipped. Go in. Oh, did you see that? Oh, even Laura's face lit up with that shot. I'm hoping I hit one there for you to overlay. But guys, we now have the Extreme Range 2.0, so we have a cast milled club and a laser milled club. The laser milled clubs are totally conforming to the RSGA, the USGA, the URNA, all the different governing bodies. I messed that up, but I'm gonna keep it in. And the cast milled clubs are not. They are designed for maximum fun when playing with your friends. So guys, we're gonna compare them today. We're gonna to look at numbers, we're gonna look at spin rates, and we're gonna see which ones I may have in the bag. I haven't played in a proper tournament for a long time. So would it really matter if I took a wedge that looked like this one and played with my mates? That's going to do some serious damage to the golf ball and some serious damage to your mates' egos. Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to kick things off, guys, with the laser mill. These are the legal versions, and you'll see. So we still have mega spinning grooves. We also have a laser milled etching on there with the crosses on. That's designed just to generate a little bit more spin, but still legally guys let's play a couple of shots here i do have a 50 and a 58 in some different finishes i'll put all the finishes on screen for you now i'm going to go 58 i'm going to go a little bit more loft let's see just how much spin we can get from a short distance so these wedges aren't cheap but they do rival the prices of a Voki or a high toe or even a jaws wedge not too bad not a lot of spin there that did release a And that one actually sp if we look at the illegal clubs here now if we look at the illegal clubs here the cast milled clubs if you run your finger over there sorry run your finger over there how does that feel nice. nice laura says it feels nice i think it feels quite rough i think it's going to tear the golf balls apart so if you're going to spend a lot of money on golf balls because you do want the spin maybe these, ooh, that, that actually really hurt my finger maybe these wedges aren't for you but Again, these are lovely finishers. I've got 54 and 60. The guys knew exactly what I wanted, guys. We've got the 60 in the cast milled. Let's see how much fun we can have with this. We're gonna play around the green, see how much spin we can generate. Comment below, would you gain one of these just for fun? Or would it have to be conforming, like the laser milled? Now, this is quite a difficult shot we're gonna play, guys. There's a ridge over there that we're gonna try and chip over. Usually, you would play a bump and run. If I've got the cast illegal clubs, can I play a high spinning shot with the lob wedge, land it around here, and actually cheat my way to an up and down. Let's see what we can do. That one actually spun to the side, and that would be one of my worries when using these clubs. So I've caught all those shots kind of out the middle of the club there. That last one spun ridiculously. I can't wait to hit some more shots with this, but it spun to the side a little bit because of the axis that these crosses put on the ball let's play a few more and you can see we already have our first casualty sorry about that uh, pro v1 that is loaded oh <laughs> stop it these are going straight in my bag i'm never playing a tournament again again watch it oh no that one didn't have it i thought that would have done That sounded like it was absolutely loaded with spin. Guys, I'm going to take the 54 degree cast mill because that's what we all want to see, isn't it? A little bit further back. Laura's going to stay down at the green. Let's see if we can generate some proper filthy backspin. Uh, and I've got to say, what did you say, Laura? Uh, good for fun, but not for your balls. Fun for your golf, but not for your balls.
So there were some nice fun shots there guys, but it wasn't exactly a 100 yard shot was it? I'm going to hit the 54 degree with the cast milled club guys. Laura's going to stand down in the green and we're going to see just how much spin we can get. It's a back flag, it's not a shot you would generally try and play to this flag, but we're just going to see how much spin we can get if I try and land it at the flag and just see how far it can come back. I think we can get at least 15 feet into this, so Laura I'll let you take the buggy and I shall take this and the ball, the balls. Right, 100 yards. So I'm not sure how many more illegal shots I want to play with these brand new Pro V1s. I'm certainly going to hit a few bunker shots in a second. One of the things I love about these wedges as well though, it's not just the grooves, it's not just the spin that you get in. You saw there, those stopped on a dime, that's because of the landing angle I was able to get with this 54 degree wedge. You'll see there is a perimeter weight in there, you'll see that that is designed for the element of forgiveness. And we also have the milled sole, so they were on a really deadpan lie. But I managed to be able to get the contact I wanted because of that sole. Guys, let's play some more shots. I'm going to jump into the 60 degree, the illegal one, and compare it with the 58 degree. I've got a 60 and a 58 with the legal grooves out of a bunker. So here's the deal. How much better are the illegal wedges than the legal ones, the laser milled? So I'm going to hit three balls. First, we'll go legal. So you'll see that you can run your finger over there. Feel that, Laura? And that doesn't feel as aggressive, does it? It doesn't feel as abrasive, but we still have quite good grooves in there to get the spin we want. Now, spin isn't everything. When I was a junior golfer, getting backspin was literally the most important thing in the world. But now, it's actually getting close to the flag. And this is what the shape of this club can help you with as well. Right. We're going to try and play a spinny one after everything I've just said. Spin. I think I landed it too far, did I? It sounded like it had spin on it, but landed it a bit too far. That one. That one stopped nicely. I think we're going to get closer with the illegal ones, but... Oh, that was nipped. Go in. Oh, did you see that? Oh, even Laura's face lit up with that shot. So this is going to take one hell of a shot with the illegal wedge. Let's see if we can beat it. They were all fairly centered as well. Look at those. Really nice wedge that. I love the slate design on this one. Love the shape of it as well. Right, this is going to be some shot with the cast milled club. Guys, how much spin is going to be on this shot? Get in the comments below and let me know. Helps if you don't take loads of sand before the ball. Just think here that those shots aren't as good because I'm obsessing with how much spin I can put on this club. We actually got more spin with the legal club because I was contemplating more about where the shot needs to finish, contemplate on the landing angle and thinking about actually hitting a good golf shot. Guys, let's jump on the flight scope. Let's see what the spin numbers are different to these clubs and decide once and for all, should you go legal or illegal? So guys, let's see just how much more spin you can generate with the totally illegal cast club as opposed to the laser club. We're gonna go cast first. Is that still on? Yes, it is still on. I'm gonna hit this as hard as I can. I would imagine around 10, 11,000. As good a swing as I've got. Around 11.50. Let's see what we can get with. See, I, I think this looks good. I don't think you should sleep on these. I think there is a market for these, especially if you do want something a little bit different than maybe a Voki or a Callaway or a Ping. Again, that's it. I don't know where these two golf swings have come from. I wish I could pocket them. I reckon that is very similar. You can see how close together those balls are. 11, 10. Guys, very, very, very similar numbers. And I struck those bang 
out of the center guys thank you so much for watching i think with great power comes great responsibility and if you go for the illegal ones you need to know how to strike the ball consistently a lot of my shots have come up short today using the illegal wedges so are you best off going totally legal practicing learning how to play the shots and letting them release out like Name you the probably film. spoke to spider-man